Top 5 Strongest Genshin Impact Character in the Lore That is not an Archon or the Traveler. Also have to be playable to make it more interesting. Number 5, we have... I wasn't going to put her in the list originally, but I saw her birthday message. It basically says, Klee you went on an adventure, and somehow went to Li Wei, then she found a giant lizard, a k a a primo geo bishop, and just destroyed it without any problem. She just blew up a primo geo bishop, a monster that is referred to as, as the awesomely powerful geo dragon, that was imprisoned deep beneath the earth. Yeah she just destroyed that with even though she is young, she is still extremely powerful. Her story quest is even named, Who's the Strongest Fighter in Mondstadt? According to the lore, when Jean wanted Klee to fight some Helitrolls, her bombs were too strong and blew up parts of Stormbearer Mountains. So if she wanted, she could possibly just destroy the entire terrain. If Klee grows stronger, and possibly learn more things from her mother, she might be the new number one on this list. For the fourth place, we have- I'm Beto. If you too love adventure, then join me. This might be a surprise to most people, but she is surprisingly strong in the lore. She is called the Uncrowned Lord of the Ocean. She battled Haitian, a giant sea monster that looks like a giant fish and a dragon with her crew for 4 days, and battled the monster herself for 10 hours without any food or water. In the end, she managed to beat the sea monster. She did all of this when she didn't even have a vision yet. So, imagine how much stronger she got after she received her vision. Her strength probably doubled. It also says that she can apparently split mountains, and part the sea, she can also draw lightning from her sword, and that she can even defeat the mightiest of sea beasts all over Li Wei. This information is not entirely reliable, because the stories in Li Wei exaggerate a lot. But some people say they saw it happen so this information can be partly true. We can also see her, participating in the war of Inazuma and she seemed pretty strong. I know her crew probably helps her in defeating the monsters, but I would say she does like 70% of the total work. She is also not just strong, but pretty smart since she managed to beat Ningguang in chess. Twice. She is also a really great leader and someone people can rely on. So yeah, that is why I put her in this list. For number 3. Gunyu is a half adeptus and lives an unnaturally long life. She fought alongside Zhuang Li in the Archon War. So, she was probably very strong and capable of fighting since she managed to survive. In the quest, she also granted us this buff, thing, that I think she can use on herself, so her attacks would probably get much stronger. If she wants, she can also return back to her training with Cloud Retainer, and reclaim most of her Adeptus side and grow stronger. But in the time she did return, she still managed to do the trials pretty well, so her strength didn't decrease too much. Also canonically, she can do extremely powerful charged shots with her bell, I think. The only other notable thing about Gun Yu, is when a big and strong monster tried to eat her during the Archon War, but ended up choking because of her size. I don't think this factor is useful to determining your strength, well it can. But anyway, fighting in the Archon War and helping Rex Lapis is I think enough for her to reach top 3. For number 2, it's... Codename Child, but I also go by Tartaglia. He is the 11th of the Fatui Harbinger. He has great mastery over every weapon, except the bow. But he chooses to use it for the challenge. Child is already strong with the bow, so imagine him using a weapon that he is actually really good at. He enjoys battling with other people, even if he knows that they are stronger. When he was still very young, he fell into the abyss. That is where, he met someone that trained and taught him how to fight and how his bloodlust began. He also got a delusion after, the Cryo Archon saw his potential and strength. He is able to transform, into his foul legacy form but this hurts his body if it is used too frequently. Then, in his story quest, we can see how he managed to defeat, around 8 ruin guards in just under 10 seconds, and in his voice lines, he really only talks about fighting and battling so we can see what he really loves to do as a hobby. He is extremely powerful, so that is why I put him in the number 2 spot for this list. And finally, for the number 1 spot we have, it's... Call out my name. Adeptus Xiao. He is one of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, guarding Li Wei, also heralded as the Vigilant Yaksha. After the Archon War, 
he battled and destroyed the remnants of the gods, which is definitely a very hard job to do. When people see him in battle and unleash his true power, they have to be extremely lucky to survive the ordeal. He battled the hatred and grudges of the Archons for at least 1000 years, so he is definitely experienced and very strong. Out of the five Yakshas and Li Wei, he is the only one who managed to survive, because of Ventus music. Even after his duty, he still defends and fights evil for Li Wei. He still practices and hones his skills. Other adeptus even call him the conqueror of demons, or the great sage who subdues demons, out of respect. He is definitely powerful and I would have to say, that he is the strongest Genshin Impact character that is not an Archon, or the Traveler. That is the end of the video, subscribe and like. Thanks for watching, bye.